Welcome back to another adventure of Square Life. We're in Ballarat, um, which is technically like a ghost town. Well, I'm here, and I can tell you, it was not very uh, assuring when we arrived here. It's uh, very windy. We uh, the the campground host was nice enough to let us set up camp like against the general store here. And uh, we're kind of just hiding out from the wind. I have 15 offspring, 10 burrow, and one dog. Damn, man had a life. This week on Square Life, we're in Death Valley. We're camping in Panamint Springs. We just set up our camp. Yep, we came in last night, um, right at sunset. Uh, we were planning on camping at Panamint Springs uh, all four days, but we came in a little late, so we camped at Ballarat Ghost Town, um, and it was super windy and kind of rainy um, until about 10 p.m., but we were able to cook up some food, and once the wind died down, it was actually a pretty nice night. And this was out about one of the most epic drives ever. Repping the uh, Barbie X Sarah, even though they couldn't make it this time. So, the start of this trail begins with this sign that says, Welcome to Swansea. Swan. Swansea? That's the only way I could think to pronounce it. We have our roto packs and our trash roo, looking like real overlanders. Got our new cow four wheel stickers. And our Square Life decal. Swansea Sierra Gordo Road. Four wheel drive only. Dangerous grades. All right. Let's go.
I'm planning on snow wheeling. I guess that's always on the table. We're like, we'll go to the desert. We won't. We're like tired of snow wheeling. And then we get stuff. Yeah, I know it looks fresh, so I think like there was snow recently. Probably last night when we were like getting blasted by wind and stuff. It's probably <laughs> snowing up here. Yeah, I mean it was snowing up at the hatch piece. Probably frost, so I wouldn't doubt it. So the top of this trail is like 9,000, just over 9,000 feet in elevation. We did not expect there to be uh, this much snow, so we couldn't totally get everybody through. We decided to turn around just for daylight sake. Yeah, we kind of started the trail late. We started at like 12:30. No, well, we left. We left camp at 12:30, and it's like 40 minutes to the trailhead. So we started late in the day, and we don't know the trail. Uh, none of us have been on it, so we didn't know what we, you know, we're gonna face coming down on the other side. And we to come down in some really steep, deep snow. Um, so we called it a day. We, I aired down and I tried to go. We, we hit one um, snow drift and I tried to go through it a couple times. Couldn't get through. Um, aired down some more, still couldn't get through. Um, like, if we really wanted to, we could have winched through it, but. I don't think it's really worth it, so we called it a day and turned it or turned around. Had a nice little late lunch, and um, now we're heading home. Or back okay. to camp. Back to camp. <laughs> back to our home for the night. I think I'm just gonna straddle it. Yeah. It's Saxon. Can you go up that way? Huh? Can I go up that way? Yeah. I mean, you might lose a bumper. You're, go a little bit um, passenger, yeah. Give it a little bit more gas. Nice 
nicely done. Thank you.